Hi, in this video we are going to write queries to create a user. Now, let's create a new folder for the database module with a mod file in it and another file for the code related to the user. Then, in the main file, define the module db and in the db mod file, expose the user module with public mod user. In the user module, I will create a new public struct user repository. This struct should have access to the connection pool, so let's declare a field of type arc of a Postgres pool, then import pgpool from sqlx and arc from the standard library. Then let's implement user repository. First, we can create a function to instantiate it. The convention is to use new. We actually should do that for the crypto service too, but anyway, let's keep going. This new function will receive the pool as a parameter of type arc of a pg pool and that will return an instance of self which is the user repository then we create the instance of self with the pool in it now let's create a function to create the user it will be a public async function create pass a reference to self and the new user struct let's import that from the models also to create the user we need to store the hash of the password. So let's also have the crypto service as a parameter. A reference to crypto service will be enough. Let's format this a bit so it is visible and this function will return a result of either a user or an error report. So we should also import color error result. Let's work on the password first. Declare a variable password hash and that will be equal to crypto service dot hash password. And we can pass the password from new user dot password, then call await and the question mark operator. Now I want to store the new user data into the database, and as I do that, the database will create the new identifier and also will populate the timestamp fields. So I also want to return that. Let's declare a variable user, and we are going to assign it the result of our insert query. For that, we're going to use SQLX. And the function query as. And this function takes two generic parameters. The first one is the database. In this case, we are using Postgres. But we can also let the compiler figure that out by using an underscore. And then the second generic is the returning struct that will be our user. This struct must implement the from row trait. And we already derived that in the models. This method receives a row SQL query. So let's write insert into users, specify the columns, username, email, and password hash, then values with the corresponding parameters using the dollar symbol will be three in total. Then to get the created row, specify returning and a star. Then to bind the parameters, we need to call bind for each one in the same order. First, new user dot username, then bind again, new user dot email and bind with the password hash. We are only creating one user, so we can call fetch1 to execute the query and return a single result. Fetch1 will receive the reference to the connection pool. So let's use the reference to self.pool as a parameter. Then call await and the question mark operator. Let's format this a bit and we can now return OK with the user inside. And finally, to call fetch1 we need to import a trait from SQLX from the Postgres module. The trait is called pgqueryS. Cool, we are done with our user repository.